All right, uh, welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what we're gonna do in this case is I'm gonna look at this and I have log base four of x plus four minus log base four of x equals log base four of x plus two. So now in this case, what I need to do is again, we can apply our properties of logarithms, which states that when we have the subtraction of two logarithms, I can rewrite that as the quotient of one logarithm. So therefore I can have log base four of x plus four divided by x equals log base four of x plus two. Now, since I have a logarithm, a single logarithm equal to another single logarithm, I know that now I can apply my one-to-one -one property and state that x plus 4 over x has to equal x plus 2. Now, to solve for x, I need to get the x off the bottom, right? So I'm going to multiply by x on both sides. Well, therefore, that divides to 1, so I'm left with x plus 4 equals x squared plus 2x. Now, to solve for this, I'll subtract the x on both sides. Subtract the 4 on both sides. So therefore, I'm left with 0 equals x squared minus plus x minus 4. Therefore, I need to determine what two numbers multiply to give me negative 4, but then add to give me 1. Uh, I'm not thinking, I'm not seeing any two numbers that are going to multiply that's going to work. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I have to now go to the lovely quadratic formula. So remember the quadratic formula states that x equals the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times 8 times c all over 2a. And that's only when it's in your quadratic form, which in this case is 0 equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So by plugging in my values, I have x equals opposite of b, which would be a negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c, which is c, c, which is negative 4, all divided by 2 times 1. All right? So now we go ahead and look at this. And we can, so we can simplify this now again. So I have negative 1 plus or minus the square root. Well, 1 squared is 1. And then I have negative 4 times negative 4 is a positive 16. So 1 plus 16 is going to be over 17 divided by 2. All right. Now, the square root of 17 is going to be an irrational number, so I'm going to have to double check this. Um, and what I already noticed, ladies and gentlemen, is already if I have a negative value, I already know that a negative value um, is not going to work for this logarithmic equation. So I mean, I, I'll still, I guess, evaluate it. So square root of 17, um, and then negative 1 minus divided by 2. So I have x equals approximately negative 2.56. And then I have negative 1 plus the square root of 17 divided by 2. And I have x is approximately 1.56. But ladies and gentlemen, remember, you can't have the negative number plugged into our uh, logarithmic equation. So therefore, this answer is going to be extraneous. All right, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that helped as far as solving your logarithms. Thanks.